Hey, you're about to hear um, a little demo I did with the HX Stomp. I'm using the Matchstick Channel 1 and Channel 2 uh, models. Uh, the only guitar that wasn't recorded with that was one of the rhythm doubles that you hear at the very beginning with the Strat. That's with my Samson Era Matchless C30. So take a listen. After that's done, uh, we're going to dig in and uh, kind of compare the amp and the models and see how close they are. Thanks. Stick around. So I recently picked up an HX Stomp. I've been needing a direct solution for certain live gigs where I can't use an amp. A number of churches that I play at, um, they all have Kempers and Kempers are great. So I'm, I'm really familiar with those, but I can't justify spending the money on a Kemper um, and not use it that much. When I'm at home, I use amps. Um, and record direct using cab IRs with those amps. So the Kemper would be just a lot of money for me um, for something that I don't really use all the time or need as much. So um, the HX Stomp seems like a great solution. I can use it as um, use it for the effects, and then when I do need a direct solution, I can pull up an amp model and, and go direct that way. So yeah, I've been messing around with some of the sounds, and today I'm going to I'm going to do a direct comparison with the Matchstick model found on the HX Stomp um, to my Samson Era Matchless C30. Um, I typically run it as a head or a single 12. People um, always ask me, was well, it a DC30? A DC30 is just the 212 combo of the C30 amp. It comes in a few different variations. An HC30 is the head, the SC30 is the 112. So all the same amp, just a different setup. Today I'm running the HC30, um, the C30 as a head, um, plugged into a two notes captor, eight ohm. I'm running direct into the Torpedo Wall of Sound plug-in and we are using a Michael Britt Cab Blend 1 IR. Um, that blend or that cab uh, IR is just kind of a, a basic, really balanced uh, cab IR that that seems to work pretty well with a lot of things. So um, I thought it would be a good one for this first sound. We're going to look at uh, channel one on the Matchless right now. Uh, the amp is set up with bass and treble at about noon, volumes at about ten o'clock or so, um, and I've kind of set up the HX Stomp. Um, pretty close. We'll we'll kind of tweak it. I'll, we'll talk more about that when we get into it. So uh, let's take a listen. <laughs> So kind of a dirty, you know, rhythm, not too dirty, kind of cleanish thing um, that the Matchless does great. So we'll swap over to the HX Stomp. Let's see where we're at here. So again, same cab IR, uh, just the HX Stomp and the Matchless. That's HX Stomp. That's the amp. So let's go over here. So right now the amp is sounding a little warmer.
So one thing that I do like about the HX Stomp is that um, a lot of the controls do act similarly um, to the amp. You might have seen me, I was tweaking the um, this master control right here. Um, on the matchless, on the actual amp, as you turn up the master, at a certain point it doesn't really get much louder, it just starts to saturate more, um, the low mids get a little thicker. and the um line six seems to kind of captured that here it does seem to overdrive more it seems to get thicker but it doesn't necessarily get a lot louder so um that is super cool another thing that i noticed is that the bass and the treble i have them down pretty low right now initially when i was trying things out i had the bass and the treble up a little higher um on the am actual amp those controls are super um interactive they um as you turn up the bass, you get less treble, so you turn up the treble um, to compensate, and then it kind of changes where the mids are placed. It gives you a lot of options with that. Um, and the Line 6 model does kind of do that. I ended up with these down a little bit just to get some of the mids coming out a little more. Um, the big difference that I find on the HX models compared to this amp in particular um, is the low mids. There's just kind of a, a presence and a warmth in the low mids and a thickness that I'm getting on the amp that I'm, I'm not quite able to get on the HX Stomp. I've tweaked um, this master control, the drive, the bass, um, you know, and can get them close, but there's just, there is a difference. They both sound great. They both have their uses. They're, they're actually sometimes when I feel like the HX Stomp, um, there are certain things that are really cool about it and what it does. Um, so I dig that. All that being said, um, going back and forth, I've done this probably now for, you know, a few hours, like overall, you can drive yourself insane trying to get them to sound the same. And, and one big difference I also notice is they just respond differently. If you dial in a sound on the HX Stomp and then you, um, you compare it to the amp, you can get them sounding really close. Um, and then when you play a different type of part or you'd play, um, you know, harder or lighter, it changes. So the, the AHX stump doesn't quite respond to picking dynamics, doesn't respond to that in the same way that the amp does. It doesn't respond poorly, it just responds differently. So I find myself, if I go to a different part or I'm playing a different type of riff, um, I want to tweak the AHX stump again to get it sounding more like the amp because um, it just changes. So again, they both sound great. Um, let me know what you think. If they sound pretty close, again, you can drive yourself crazy trying to get them to sound the same. Okay, so I've swapped over to channel two on the Matchless, um, changed guitars, got the Les Paul, um, and we're gonna compare the channel two Matchstick model to the second channel on the amp. <laughs> Right now the amp is set, uh, gain or volume is about a little past noon. Cut is at about 12 o'clock or so, I think. Yeah, cut is about noon, um, and then the tone kind of click switch uh, is all the way down, so that's the least amount of bass. It already has a good amount of chunk to it. Um, um, and we are still on the Michael Britt uh, Cab Blend 1, just to kind of keep it consistent. So that is the amp. So there's some top-end stuff on 
the matchstick on the HX. Let's see if we can take a little bit of that out. <laughs> Check stomp, the amp. So pretty close, um, at least to my ear from what I'm hearing right now. Um, the amp. with both uh, Matchstick Channel 1 and Matchstick Channel 2, they sound great. Um, and they're definitely usable tones and definitely tones that I'm gonna be able to use on gigs. Um, the amp does have something else to it. There's a bit of warmth, there's a bit of roundness that I can't seem to get um, out of the HX Stomp. Um, again, that's not to say it's bad, it's just different. I think in a mix with lots of other instruments or other things going on, I don't think that I would miss that um, and and actually probably going to end up cutting a lot of that out of the amp sound anyway. So I would venture to say, you know, when Matchless or I mean, uh, when Line 6 makes their models, they're kind of going for that. They're kind of going for a more polished sound. Um, I found that to be the case with a lot of Kemper tones, too, that people make. They're trying to get that tone as close to mix ready as they can. But that's not always what we're used to hearing when we play live. Um, we want things to sound you know, full and fat, but um, a lot of that bottom end and a lot of that roundness gets taken out in the mix. So the HX Stomp seems like a great solution um, for direct tones. Definitely a good solution for me um, moving forward uh, whenever I do need um, a direct solution. Uh, not ideal, I'd rather use an amp, but the HX Stomp is killing. Thanks again, guys, for watching. Uh, let me know what you think. Let me know if you think I did a good job of comparing the two and uh, hoping to do some more of these down the road. I've got a Fender Deluxe I want to do the same thing with, and then I've got a buddy who has a vintage Marshall uh, 2204. There is a model of that in the um, HX Stomp as well. So I want to see if I can borrow that. Um, and do the same exact thing. Um, so I'd love to hear your thoughts, how I can make it better, how I can do it differently. All the best. See you guys out there.